Hello, my fellow gardening gals and guys. Welcome back to my channel, Serenity Now Garden. My name's Jeannie, and I garden in a zone 4B. So, we're doing a What's Blooming Wednesday. It's July 6th. So, I'm just going to take you through just a few things in my garden that's, that are blooming right now before I miss them in between garden tours. If you like videos like this, if you could please give me a thumbs up so I know. And please consider subscribing to my channel. That would be great. So this is my front porch here. We have some shorter delphinium that I just planted. These are Aurora Lavender, I believe they're called. So they'll get, um, they're just in between these lemon coral sedum. They'll get to be about, uh, about a foot tall, um, maybe 16 inches. And we're just in front of these taller delphinium. And note to self, next year I need taller stakes. <laughs> it just rained right before this and unfortunately these kind of just bent. Um, so I missed it. But yeah, the stakes, I, I had them staked, but yeah, it was just not tall enough. So I need new stakes. These are four and a half feet tall. Check out the color. It's like a blue mixed with a purple there. They are stunning. I love having these around my bird bath. So this is about year three for these guys. And here's just some containers. I have my petunias down there. Those are Super Cal Bordeaux petunias. And just behind those petunias are some impatiens. So they're just kind of getting going here. This area gets partial sun. So I have this container. It's mostly shade tropical type plants. And it's been so windy this year. So that poor elephant ear has just got blown to bits. Um, the leaves are kind of distressed there, but there's some coleus in there. That's watermelon. There's some begonias. There's creeping Jenny. That coleus, I believe is, um, chocolate covered cherry. So these will fill in. These will be my filler. Um, they'll get about 24 inches tall. So yeah, so we have a hanging basket there. That's calibrachoa. I just need to deadhead that right now, but it's hanging in there, going strong. I um, fertilize this about once a week. So, really happy with that so far. So, that's my front porch. And every year I do something a bit different up here. This is my pride and joy hosta. <laughs> this is Blue Angel, and it is blooming right now. And bumblebees love this plant, so... I never cut off my blooms. I know some people do with their hostas. I'm not sure why, because pollinators really like those flowers. So I always leave them on. This plant is like five feet across. So, And I have an arbor here with two different clematis. We have Jackmanii, one on each side, and we have a Ville de Leon, one on each side. So the really deep purple, vigorous one is Jackmanii. And this blooms just before the pink one to the right there. That's the Ville de Leon. Um, so this is just year two. So I'm really happy. This blooms a little bit later. Um, so hopefully I'll have something blooming at all times in the summer. So we'll see how that goes. And this arbor actually blew down just a few weeks ago and uh, I got it back up. We got some stronger stakes in it and yeah, it's going all the way to the top there. This Jack Manny, the color on it, isn't it just so stunning? It's just such a deep purple. So, and that pink's not too bad either. <laughs> so yeah, I really like the two different Clematis. I'm glad I decided to do that. Bet you next year they'll go all the way over. So this is my side yard here. I just have a little pathway. We have a rock garden on the right. We have various plants on the left. That's my neighbor's chain link fence in the back. I'm just kind of trying to build like a, a privacy hedge. This is just a Semper Vivum that's blooming. I have quite a few of these. A lot of them are starting to bloom. They look like, they just look really cool when they bloom. On the other side here, this isn't technically blooming, but I have to show you this. This is an Atlantis sedum. Isn't this so cool looking? The new growth almost looks like a flower. I mean, it's just so stunning. I think it looks great on the dark mulch. It just really stands out. 
here on the rock garden side we have some scotch moss and if you look really close it has these tiny white blooms they're so cute so this has spread for me pretty good i'm kind of trying to suppress the weeds you'll see a few i'm still going to put some more rocks in this area some pebbles as ground cover so that's just some Celine. that's another semper vivum they look alien <laughs> it's blooming there and more scotch moss behind that. And more Semper Vivum. Go on the other side here. This isn't blooming, but I got to show you. This is my Jade Butterfly Ginkgo. I just love it. It's a dwarf. Like It only gets like three to four feet tall. Slow grower, but look at the leaves. And there's are some spent um, Purple Sensation Alliums. And we have yarrow. It's just starting to open. So these will be covered with these magenta blooms. This is just year two for this yarrow. So it's spreading really good. This is just one plant I put there. And the rest will open soon. So yeah, we just kind of wanted to, this to take over the area. Just to suppress some weeds. This is a quick fire hydrangea. This will end up getting larger blooms. They could turn a bit pink. You can see they're really cool looking there. But this will get like eight feet tall and wide. We have two of these here. I want this to, like I said, form that privacy hedge. A little more yarrow. I've just been, this yarrow is just so low maintenance. So if you're looking for something that is drought tolerant, that can really take the heat, that will just kind of spread, this is your plant here. So yeah, I hope it takes it over that whole area. This is Serendipity Allium. Not blooming yet, but look at those little buds. They're about to. And just behind it, that's a lupine. It's on its way out. But here in Minnesota, these are really big. They are late spring bloomers, early summer. And look at the leaf structure. So cool. We'll go back to the other side of my rock garden here. One lone dianthus. Um, that's a fire witch, uh, one little uh, flower on it still. This is a blue spruce sedum. It's uh, flowering there, some yellow. This will spread too, and you can just break pieces off and grow it in other areas. Very low maintenance. Not too much more um, blooming over here, but just wanted to give you a quick look. There's just some more Semper Vivum blooming. Blue elf sedum there. I am back to the other side. Check out this Maui Buttercups Hasta. It's blooming. The leaf structure is so cool on that stock. It's a nice gold color, really brightens up the area. I just love it. I just planted these. This is a spiderwort, Trandescancia. Um, the it's called Sweet Kate, so this is the chartreuse one. Not blooming now, but it just was earlier in the day. It just closed up and it'll open up again. So it's that purple blooms. And it is time for the astilbes, beginning of July. This one's just opening here. Now, I don't have all the names of my astilbes. I think this is Visions in Red, possibly. Um, but let me show you a few more because these astilbes will bloom for about three weeks. They all bloom like a couple days behind each other depending on the variety so we're in peak season right now so i want to show you now first let me just show you just some we have some um unplugged so blue proven winter salvia there those are annuals they're okay they just need a little cover color right there so there's a hosta blooming here right behind it. This is just year two. That's a humpback whale. That'll get seven feet across. But like I said, pollinators, especially bumblebees, I see in these blooms all the time. Love that. And another still be there. I believe that's a Chinesis a still be. Um might be uh, drum and bass or rhythm and blues. I'm not positive on that one. And we have some more behind it. Those aren't open yet, but they're going to be soon. So there's another there. 
This one's a little more pink. It's just about to open. They get really vibrant once they're open, they're like a lot puffier. You can see one here just behind this common elder or American elder. That is, I do not know the variety. It just is like a really cool white creamish color. It really stands out from afar. I like those. And what's blooming in the back there is common elder. That's a native. We have some more stobies. The yellow plants are um, Sun King Aralias. They don't bloom, but they really go good in this shaded type of area. So let me take you through a few of these here because some are huge. This one, I believe, is in a stilby hybrid called Rhythm and Blues. It's got like a hot pink. This one, I believe, is in a stilby hybrid called Drum and Bass. This will get a lot bigger. Sun King. This one isn't open yet, but I, this was here when I moved in, so I'm not sure. I believe it could be Visions in Red, but I'm not positive on that one, or um, still be Fennel. But that'll probably be blooming by the time I do my next garden tour, so stay tuned for that. But this will just get really striking from afar, and these could be like, these could be, it could be flooded back here and these would do fine. They love water. This one is a whopping four and a half feet tall. Can you believe it? This one is called Mighty Pip. It's an Estilbe Chinesis. I wonder if it's going to get five feet tall. That's as tall as me <laughs> one of these days. But look at, you can see it still has some to open on the top there. But they're open and like puffy on the bottom. Isn't that gorgeous? That light pink really stands out from afar. And just next to it, this is that like hot pink still be hybrid rhythm and blues, I believe. Oh, I want to show you this. This is a penstemon. There was just a hummingbird on this. It's on its way out, but I believe this one's called Husker Red. So if you want to attract hummingbirds to your yard, plant some penstemon. Okay, so back to the, this is a still be hybrid called rhythm and blues. Isn't that gorgeous? I wish it still be bloomed for like a month. That would be awesome. But I'll take what I can get, especially back here in the shade. They just love my yard. I barely have to water these either. The water table's really high back here. Here's another one. This is like a light pink. I thought it was Mighty Pip as well, but it's not as big as the other one, so. And we have some hosta blooming. I used to I call this guacamole in my other video, but I believe this is a Francis Williams hosta. So really attracts the pollinators there. Next to it is Angelonia. That's probably won't be planting that again. That's just an annual and a deer or rabbit ate the top off of one. So it's okay. I got it for a good price. These are proven winners, I believe. Angel face or something like that. This is just a summon substance, I believe. Not blooming yet, but it's got a bunch of blooms or a bunch of buds. Another Francis Williams. This, these are in full sun because I lost a tree back there. And check this out. I think that's another Mighty Pip. That's that Estilbe Chinesis. Four and a half feet tall, guys. Still has some more to open on it, but wow. What a stunner. And I love it next to these two hostas on the right there. Summon Substance and Halcyon. The yellow and the blue. And this is always a stunner. This is always the first to open. This is that um, drum and bass. Drum and bass. I just love it. Full sun as well. So still bees can take full sun, but if you have them in full sun, they need a boggy area. We're just adjacent to the wetlands here, so they love it. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? It's It opened a few days ago, like maybe almost a week ago. But gosh, if you look at it from afar, it just pops. I have some Veronica or some Speedwell right in front of this because they like boggy areas as well. It's first year, so still needs to fill in. Let me show you a close-up of one of the blooms. 
it's just like a purple. So if this fills in, I, I, I like it. I got these for like $3 each, I think, at Menards. So I said, what the heck, let me try it. Now this is an be called Ostrich Plume. Now instead of sticking straight up, these Estilbees are like weeping. They go to the sides. So that's interesting. Just a little bit different. And I apologize, somebody's letting off fireworks outside I could hear. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the front yard here. This is Dianthus, it's on its way out. These are the last blooms. I deadheaded everything, thought it would, thought maybe I could get a rebloom out of it, but it's done. But it was great, and I just love that foliage. Look at it, it's like ice blue, and it looks so good next to that silver mound, Artemisia. I like planting those two together. But this was covered a couple weeks ago. Highly recommend Fire Witch. And this is my little side shade garden here. The only thing that blooms in it is the astilbe in the center there. These are relatively new. They don't get a lot of sun, so they're not as big as the ones in back. Um... But yeah, I think that's Visions in red. Not positive, but looks good next to all these hostas. A good companion plant. And there's two astilbes right in the center is a June hosta. And in the background is some Creeping Jenny. So I believe those are Visions in red too. So if they're just on year two or three. I have a Roseanne geranium there. It's first year, so it's not blooming a ton, but these bloom a long time. And look at the Jacob's Ladder on the left. It's like a variegated. It's really cool looking. Not blooming right now. but. And we'll go to my front bed. Sorry, it was overcast. Now it's super sunny, so I'm going to try to not cast a shadow. Hopefully the colors won't get too washed out. But yeah, this is my front garden bed. It has two crab apple trees there. It's lined with silver mound artemisia and some... Millennium Allium, it's not blooming yet. So I'll just show you what's blooming. This is up close to the road, so it gets the really hot, hot afternoon sun. But check out these flocks. I got these at Lowe's for $5 each. These are first year. And I do not know what kind these are, cannot recall, but it's just the generic Lowe's brand. So there's another one there. So these have been going strong for weeks and weeks. And these are summer drummer alliums. They're just starting to open. So I'll show these in my next garden tour. But these are the latest blooming bulb all alliums you can get. Look at that. Isn't that cool? These look white, but they will turn like a purplish lavender. They can get up to like five feet tall. So, yeah, they bloom in July when the other ones are spent. As you can see, there's some Globasters that are spent. This is the Dwarf Walker Jr. Um, Catmint or Nepeta. This is just the dwarf version of the Walker's Low. So, as you can see, it's still going strong. As soon as those are faded, you could shear these off and it should rebloom for you. But nothing bothers this plant. Very low maintenance. So there's some cone flowers just starting behind it. But I wanted to show you because look at this is just covered in blooms. Year two for this one as well. So these are the old fashioned Echinacea purpura. Um, they are Magnus cone flowers. So they'll turn a little more purplish pink. And this is just some ground cover sedum. It's still going strong, flowering. Still needs to fill in on the left. But I just bought one of these packs like three years ago from like Home Depot. Had a bunch of different ones in it. I kind of split it up and just kind of put it all over the front of this tree here. And yeah, it's going strong. There's some blue spruce sedum tucked in there. Some run-of-the-mill green sedum. Some angelonia. Or um, no, angelina. Um, and I believe some dragon's blood. And here's my hanging basket I got from Lowe's. Or not from Lowe's, from Menards. For just $20. It's huge. Calabricoa, I believe. Not positive, but correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. So I just cut this back a little bit too. And it's just a really strong bloomer. It is just huge. So I hope you guys like that. 
and this is just another picture of my delphinium there it's just a real striking plant so thanks for watching this what's blooming wednesday happy gardening everyone see you in the next one